Oh, you're just showing off all the money you have. And... I hate this thing. <laughs> but I took it off because Pokemon is satanic. Well, I do think it does have great exclusives. Like, it has, it has uh, Pokemon Crystal. It's got... Pokemon Crystal. Uh, so that's it for the consoles. Now let's actually get into the games. So where better to start than the original NES? So this is the first one I'm going to show. And I, I do this all alphabetically. Um... I, what do you want me to say? It's golf. Like, it's it's just, it's golf. I bought this for, I think, two bucks. It's golf. Like, I don't know. That's, that's it. That's all I'm saying. It's golf, man. It's just golf. I forgot to mention this. I'm filming this on April 29th, all right? My birthday was April 28th. So just yesterday, I got a crap ton of awesome stuff. And one of the things that I got, and I will be mentioning everything that I did get for my birthday. One of the things I got was Metroid, the very first ever Metroid. This is awesome. Like, because I'm going to be doing a review on this game, actually. Or I was planning to do it even before I got it. Um, uh, I'm going to be doing it on, like, I'm going to be getting footage from it on NSO because I can't record on my NES. My first, like, real Metroid game that I actually beat was Metroid Prime. I played this, and I'm like, this is aged surprisingly well. Like, this is actually aged pretty dang well. And I mean, it's just, it's so awesome to own. Cause it's like, I, I really do really like Metroid. Um, before you're like, oh, well Dallas, you've only beaten Prime. I'm like, yeah, but I, I, I mean, I can't, I don't, I don't, I can't stand people that are like, and I'm not saying I can't, sorry. I can't stand it when, I can't, I, I can stand people. Like, cause it's like, I, I'm not gonna go that far and say, I can't stand people who, who say this. I'm gonna say, I can't stand it when people say, you're not a real fan if you haven't played all the games, done every single thing that you can do in that game, like, all, all that, um, but I, 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 I love this thing, like, it's, I, like I said, I only got it yesterday, I, pl I only played it for, like, five minutes, but I mean, like, it's just, it's, it's, it's so cool to own, it's, it's just, it's so cool to own. Now, this thing, uh, this was, like, my first one, well, technically, I had three first NES games, but this was one of them. I got a combo pack with Mario, Super Mario Bros., Duck Hunt, and World Class Track Me. I could not play either of these games. For one, I don't have a CRT, uh, because these don't work on flat screens. Uh, for some re or uh, no, well, it's because of the technology used to design it, and I don't have a super pad, uh, because, and also, I don't care about this game. Um, and Duck Hunt, there's other ways to play it. Mario Bros, though, I do care about this one, and I mean, it's... It's good, like, I don't want to say that it's a bad game, just because, I mean, it's not really aged the best. It's just, I've kind of gotten tired of seeing it everywhere. I hope you can understand that, because it's like, I just, I, I really do like this game. I do like Super Mario Bros. It's just kind of like, they kind of spit it on every, Nintendo kind of spits it on every single thing they possibly can. Uh, understandably so, considering it was like their first big, big game that like, actually like, com like, blew up. Um, and it's still to this day in the top, like, 15 best-selling video games of all time, I believe. Now, a game that I have a strong sentimental attachment to and genuinely really like... Well, I mean, I, I do genuinely really like Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, but I, I, I prefer this game. Super Mario Bros. 2 is awesome. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just... I love this game. Like, it's so cool to me. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the music. I don't know if it is the... Like, just the overall gameplay that I just find, like, so unique and different from other Mario games. But I, I just, I, I really, really, really enjoy this game. Um, I, I mean, I use its music in pretty much all my videos. Uh, so I think that enough says something right there. I'm having a hard time deciding. Which do I prefer? Super Mario Bros. 2 or Super Mario Bros. 3? Even to this day, I, I still don't know. But this is my copy of Super Mario Bros. 3. I made, I did a review on this game. Um, or, sorry, my bad, a retrospective on this game. Um, in that video, I stated that mine has a crack in it, as you can see. Also, somebody wrote on it, and that's kind of annoying, but I mean, I don't really care. Uh, but this this game is great. Like, it is one of the best 2D games I've played. Not my favorite 2D game, but it's still really, really, really good. I, I did state in the video that it was, that, like, I, I did prefer, like, other, not only 2D games, but 2D Mario games. Uh, but I, 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 I'd like this game. And the final NES game I have, that's right, I know, I only have six, I'm a loser, is the very first ever Legend of Zelda. I also got this for my birthday. Um, this is quite possibly my favorite NES game to own. Not my favorite NES game of all time. That'll always be Kirby's Adventure. And before you're like, oh, Dallas, you don't have Kirby's Adventure. How can that be your favorite NES game? Ever heard of the Virtual Console? Ever? I, I thought so. But this game is my favorite to own because 
It's it's just gold. Like it's just gold. Like that's awesome. Like look at this thing. Like also, it is the first entry in my second favorite franchise of all time. I love it. I love it so much. Um, the actual game, obviously, it's aged poorly because of you know uh, of the whole like uh, finding puzzle or solving puzzles that are just like un that you cannot do without a guide and all that. But I I, I just love to own this thing. To like that, that's that's just why I I just love owning it. I got a whole bunch of Game Boy games. All right, so I got. Wait, crap. Wait, where is it? Okay. I have. Sorry, I'll just show them off. I got a alleyway, instruction zone. So yeah, I, I got this for my birthday too. Um, I got I got Gex 3, just because I thought the name was funny. I also got this Looney Tunes game. I know, they're like they're not very good games except for like alleyway. I got Miss Pac-Man, that's a really good one. That's a good game. I really do like Miss Pac-Man. This game is horrible, by the way. Tetris 2. I don't like this game. It's a. It's just. I don't like it at all. Um, Uno. It's just. It's just Game Boy Uno. Wheel of Fortune. It's just Game Boy Wheel of Fortune. And Nintendo's World Cup. It's just Game Boy Soccer. Um, now the two games that I genuinely actually love to own on this thing, other than other than you know Looney Tunes and, and Gex, because those those two are just amazing. We'll start, we'll start off first. Pokemon Blue. I got this with my game. So I got, where is it? I ordered my Game Boy Color off of eBay for 60 bucks. Uh, other than Gex, I got my Game Boy Color and all of these games, all right, for $60, including Pokemon Blue. Um, Gex, I got for my birthday, as I previously stated. Um, Pokemon Blue, I got in the bundle, and I'm like, this is a great deal, because now I believe in it. An authentic Pokemon blue cartridge can go for like, freaking 80 bucks, I think? So this is really awesome. Also, this is just a good game. Like, this is just a good game. Um, I, I, do, I really do like this. It's not my favorite Pokemon game at all, but it's, it's, it's really good. And then, my most prized Game Boy collect thing, The Legend of Zelda Link's Away, here, I'll, I'll, I'll open it. Isaac and Kai's dad is from Japan, um, and this is his childhood the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening copy, and he gave this to me because um, he knew I, I enjoyed collecting video games. Um, he gave this to me about like two or three years ago, and I love this thing. Like, it, it's still, I've beaten it so many times. Like, I think I've beaten it sub, like, maybe, I think, because it's, it's a long, it's not even, it's not a very long game. It takes like maybe five, ten hours to beat. Um, I mean, that's, I mean, that's a pretty sweet length, especially for a Game Boy game. But like, I, I love this thing. Like, it's it's my favorite Game Boy game to own. Now the next console to talk up is the SNES. NBA Jam. Um, my copy has been through some stuff. As you can see, um, it's been through a lot. Also, can I just acknowledge, look at how tiny that label that says NBA Jam. Look at that, that's so small. At first I thought it was like ripped off, but then I'm like, no, that's actually, that's part of the label. Like, that's just how small it is. Um, but this game, um, especially on SNES, I don't think it's aged the best, and I know I'm gonna get destroyed for saying that, but I'm, I'm sorry that, that a almost two decades old game didn't age the best, especially a basketball one that I just, I don't get. Well, I mean, it also just probably just adds up. I don't, I don't like basketball games, or I've never really been even a huge sports game person. I, pr I like playing sports in real life. Like, I enjoy playing soccer and it's, so and golf. That's pretty much it. Um. And, and tennis is fun, uh, and ping, ping pong, ping pong's pretty cool. But this, <laughs> unless ping pong is a sport, I don't know, if you classify ping pong as a sport, ping pong. Um, but, but this game, I, I just don't like basketball games, um, it's like, it's, it's good, like, it's good, like, it, it is a good game, and I, I recognize that it is a good game, it's just not for me. Now, a game that is definitely for me is Super Mario RPG Legend of the Stars. I had a stroke while saying that. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Similar, my copy has been through some stuff more than my other Super Nintendo games. Super, Super Nintendo games. And somebody named Greg uh, wrote their name on the back and then like tried to white it out. But uh, this game is great. It is not my favorite Mario RPG, but it is one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. Possibly not my favorite. Um, uh, there are other games that I do, I, I think I prefer, but I, I, I do really, really enjoy this game. This is like kind of the father of all Mario RPGs. It's really good. This might be my favorite Super Nintendo game now. Or now, it's always been pretty much my favorite Super Nintendo game because it's my second favorite 2D platformer. Super Mario World. This game is 
Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. It pretty much just sets up every other 2D Mario game. You play. You if you were watching this, you've more than likely played Super Mario World one way or another. If you haven't, please get this game if you like 2D Mario. This is also quite possibly my favorite thing to own. The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. I got this for my birthday. Similar, my copy has been through some stuff. But you know what? I less so than Mario, uh, less so than Mario RPG and NBA Jam, but it's still been through some stuff. Uh, this game is beloved, and well the top is kind of going a little bit. Uh, but this game is great. Like it is one of my favorite top-down Zelda. It, 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 uh, I think it might be my favorite top-down Zelda. Um, because I have more of a sentimental attachment to Link's Awakening, uh, just because Isaac and Kai's dad gave it to me. But, I mean, over, like, in terms of just how much I enjoy playing it, this is probably my favorite. Also, I heard this game was pretty rare as well. Um, or not even rare, but just really heavily desired, so that's pretty cool. And the one, I talked about this earlier, but this is the only Super Nintendo game that I got that I, like, I don't really like just because of the, I, I bought it because it had a funny name. This is Zoop. So, I had $50 to blow, and, um, I decided that I was going to get this as my Super Nintendo game. Or I got two Super Nintendo games during that uh, uh, call it buying spree, or whatever you call it. Um, or that haul. I got Zoop and NBA Jam. I don't understand what this game is. Like I said, I just bought it because it has a funny name. Mario Kart 64. Um, it is the player's choice one. I would prefer to have the original. I would. I would prefer to have the original. But it's, it, it's still pretty awesome to own. Um, this thing, <sighs> you remember the game that I was talking about, that I was like, I don't know if I like it or not, this is the, uh, this is the one, um, it's, it's aged horribly, like, probably worse than any other Nintendo 64 game that I've played, but it's not a bad game, because it has a good battle mode, like, me and Isaac agree that this would be like a 5 out of 10, because it's got a good battle mode, bad controls, it can be fun with other people, but it's like, Definitely flawed. Um, I might do a video on this eventually, but I, 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 I'm kind of mixed on it. Um, I think it's good. I think it has really good elements, but I also think it's kind of iffy. Now, this game, a lot of people will be kind of surprised to see. Paper Mario. Um, Paper, Paper Mario. <laughs> I was trying to make sure I was holding it correctly. Paper Mario. Uh, I have not played much of this. I got this for my birthday as well. So far, I really, 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 really like it. I don't know if it's going to be better than Mario RPG. I have to play more of it to know. But, I mean, so far, I, I, I do really, 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 really like it. Yet another game that I have gotten for my birthday. Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap. Uh, it's very simple. <laughs> you just take pictures of Pokemon. But I really like it. I mean, this you also have to keep in mind that I believe other than Pokemon Stadium... Wait, when did this come out? Does it say? 1996, 1997? I'm assuming it would be 1997? Wait, does it say? Definitely didn't come out in 1995, because the 64 didn't even come out in America at that point. I'm just going to assume 1970. No, sorry, not 1970, 1998. I'm going to go with 1998. I think that's when this came out. Uh, I believe other than Pokemon Stadium, this was the only time that people saw this in the, the like the original 151 Pokemon in 3D, which, I mean, that's pretty cool, uh, to say the least. I mean, even though Generation 1 is not personally not my favorite, I mean, it's pretty cool. And also, it's just a, it's a pretty well-made game. Yes, a beloved game, nonetheless. Soup. Super Mario 64 um, has aged way better than people say. Um, I actually really enjoy playing this game, especially on the Nintendo 64. I actually think I prefer playing it on the Nintendo 64 versus the Switch on Mario 3D All-Stars, which we will, we will get to that one in a bit. Um, but th this guy is pretty awesome. Um, I mean, obviously, it's Mario 64. Why wouldn't it be? Like, it, it's, it's a great game. And finally... One of my all-time favorite games, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Um, I'm sorry. I know it's generic to say, but I don't care. I love this game. I think it's brilliant. I think it's amazing. <laughs> it's unique. It's my favorite Zelda game. It's fantastic. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if they're like, Daz, you're so, you're so original, you're so stupid, you, 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 you only follow the trends, you only, you, I don't care. This game is amazing. I, I, I love it.